Hello friends, this is Aditya Venno and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, currently electric scooter market is on fire, especially under 1 lakh rupees market. Popular brands like Bajaj, Ola and TVS has launched their electric scooter under 1 lakh rupees. So in this video, let's talk about two popular electric scooters under 1 lakh rupees from these popular brands and they are Bajaj Chetak 2901 and Ola S1X. So in this video, let's compare both these electric scooters and if you watch this video till the end, you will get a conclusion on which electric scooter suits you best so without any delay let's dive into the video Friends, first of all, let's talk about the design of both these electric scooters. Coming to Bajaj Chetak 2901, there are no major differences in terms of design in this Bajaj Chetak 2901 compared to the previously available Bajaj Chetak Urbane and Bajaj Chetak Premium. It comes with the same design and same build quality. Coming to the Ola S1X, same story repeats here. There is no identical differences between the Ola S1 Air, Ola S1 X Plus, Ola S1 X and Ola S1 Pro. All the designs of these models will be exact. At least same. Coming to the build quality, Bajaj Chetak 2901 comes with the metal build quality. So I can say this is one of the best electric scooter under 1 lakh rupees with the best build quality. Coming to the Ola S1X, fiber plastic body has been used in this Ola S1X series and we can observe ton of panel gaps in this Ola S1X series. So in terms of build quality, buy out goes to Bajaj Chetak. When it comes to the battery pack, Bajaj Chetak 2901 comes with 2.9 kWh fixed battery pack with which companies claiming a range of 1 23 kilometers on a single charge this is the idc range real range we can expect around 90 to 95 kilometers coming to ola s1x this ola s1x is available in three variants base variant gets two kilowatt battery pack mid variant gets three kilowatt battery pack and top end variant gets four kilowatt battery pack we made a dedicated review video on this four kilowatt or ola s1x electric scooter if you missed that video the link will be in the description please go ahead and watch after this video coming to the range the base variant offers 95 kilometers IDC range but the real range we can expect in this is 70 to 80 kilometers in the 3 kilowatt hour variant companies claiming a range of 151 kilometers on a single charge but real range will be 100 to 120 kilometers in the 4 kilowatt hour battery pack variant companies claiming a range of 193 kilometers but real range will be somewhere around 130 to 140 kilometers in terms of range Ola S1X is ahead of Bajaj Chetak electric scooter coming to the charging time Bajaj Chetak 2901 takes 6 hours to to get it fully charged coming to the ola s1 x series so they will take 5 to 7.5 hours depending upon the variant and the battery pack of this electric scooter coming to the motor bajaj chetak 2901 comes with a side mounted motor company hasn't specified the exact capacity of this motor but the previously available versions used to have 4.2 kilowatt motor so we can expect power drop in this electric scooter so we can expect around 3.5 to 4 kilowatt peak power in this bajaj chetak 2901 and companies claiming a top Top speed of 63 km per hour. When it comes to Ola S1X, this comes with a 2.7 kW nominal and 6 kW peak powered BLDC hub motor and the top speed here is 90 km per hour. In the 2 kWh variant, company is claiming a top speed of 85 km per hour. So in terms of performance, Ola S1X wins here. Next, let's talk about the boot space. Bajaj Chetak 2901 comes with 18 liters boot space whereas Ola S1X series will have 34 liters of boot space. When it comes to the display, Bajaj Chetak 2901 has round color LCD digital display. The visibility of this display in the night times will be very good but when it comes to the daytime, the visibility won't be great. Coming to the Ola S1X, this comes with 4 inches LCD display and the visibility of this display will be very good in night as well as day. Not much things are similar in both these electric scooters but one thing is similar in this is the key. There is no physical key available in the previous versions of Bajaj Chetak and in the previous versions of Ola Electric scooters with the help of a key fob we used to unlock Bajaj Chetak previous versions and with the help of a passcode we used to unlock Ola electric scooters but for the first time company has introduced a physical key in both these variants Bajaj Chetak 2901 as well as Ola S1 X series will get physical key with these when it comes to the suspension, Bajaj Chetak 2901 has a single spring-loaded suspension at the front and mono shock observer at the rear. When it comes to the Ola S1 X series, they have telescopic suspension at the front and dual shock observers at the rear. And both these electric scooter gets drum brake along with combi braking system. Coming to the warranty, Bajaj is offering 3 years standard warranty on this Chetak electric scooter and you can extend the warranty up to 5 years by paying extra money. Coming to the Ola S1 X series, company is claiming 8 years warranty on the battery pack of this electric 
service quota and 3 years warranty on other components. Coming to the features, we can't expect many features in both these electric scooters because they come under 1 lakh rupees price segment. If you want some features, you can opt for tech pack in Bajaj Chetak electric scooter which costs you 3000 more than X showroom cost. Ola S1 X series comes with a mobile app connectivity in which you can access some of the connectivity features. Coming to the service, the Bajaj Chetak service will be top notch. Bajaj is expanding the showroom network to each and every city nowadays so we can expect a very good service response from this Bajaj company. When it comes to the Ola, it's quite opposite. Nowadays, the service of this Ola has been pathetic. All over India, I mean pan India, the service of this Ola electric scooters are not so good. Please share your service experience from Ola in the comment sections. Finally, when it comes to the price, Bajaj Chetak 2901 has launched at an X showroom cost of 95998 and if you want tech pack, you have to pay 3000 rupees extra. So the effective X showroom cost of this Bajaj Chetak 2901 will be close to 99999 rupees. Coming to the Ola S1 X series, there are three variants in it. Four kilowatt hour costs you 99999, three kilowatt hour costs you 84999, and two kilowatt hour costs you 74999. So this is the comparison between the Bajaj Chetak 2901 and Ola S1 X series. Coming to the my opinion, compared to Ola S1 X, my pick will be Bajaj Chetak 2901 because it has a very good build quality. The brand is reliable and the service will be very good. Even though the range is less compared to the Ola S1 X series, I'll be happy and tension free if I buy Bajaj Chetak electric scooter rather than Ola S1 X. What's your opinion on this? Please let me know in the comments. And if you found the video informative, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.